Hello, Stefan Hoffmeister here from the Adobe Experience Manager podcast at Access 41. As I'm sure you know, Adobe released Adobe Experience Manager 6.0 last year. With that release, there were several major changes and a couple completely new features. One of the changes is the Projects tab. You may have noticed it loads up by default after signing in. This video will be a look at what this tab can do and how it can help make your authoring life easier. But let's start here on the AEM sign-in page. For those new to AEM podcasts, I'm using a local instance of Adobe Experience Manager. So for me, this will be a fresh install. I won't have anything extra except what I added for the video and the preloaded geometrics content. Let me go ahead and enter my username and password and we can get started. Now we're brought to the default projects tab. This is where all the project magic happens. So to start, I'll begin by creating a new project, setting it up, then moving along to editing already made projects and other options. Create a new project is an easy task. Come up to the top left and click on the blue plus icon. Give that a click and you're presented with three options from left to right. A simple project, a media project, and a product photo shoot project. Of course, each project type has its benefits depending on what you're looking for, but for this walkthrough, I'm going to go with a simple template. If these templates don't fit your needs, creating new ones is a rel relatively simple task a developer could whip up for you. So click on the template you need. It'll turn blue with a check. After that, you'll need to come up to the top right and click on the blue next button. You are then brought to the project properties tab with all the options you would assume would be on a properties tab. To start, you can add a thumbnail that will help with identification. There's also a title, description, due date, and users. Now most of these options are common inputs for any document, but the users at the bottom is a little different. The options for roles are editors, owners, and observers. All of these options that we've looked at can be changed and edited later. A less used option is a due date right here. Here you can set the date at which this project needs to be done by, and adding the date to a project lets you see your progress in the Projects tab, but I'll show you that when we get back to that screen later. In the Advanced Properties, you have the option to select a name that will be used for the URI, but if you don't fill out this input, it will default to the title you give it here on the Basic tab. Let me go ahead and fill in my information, and we can get going. Now we can click on the blue create button in the top right corner. It will give you the options to either be done or open the project right away. Click on open the project and the first thing that we'll notice is that we are able to see multiple parts of the project at a glance instead of having to drill down in specific files for information. Here we have five tiles open, the test project, assets, experiences, workflows and the team. You can add more tiles depending on what you need by going up to the plus icon here and giving that a click and once you do you're brought to the add tile selection screen. Here you have the option to add whatever tile would help your project. For example you could add a second assets tile for assets that should be used only on child pages or an asset collection tile that will help find a collection of assets for specific pages to keep them looking uniform. There's also a tile to keep track of your experiences a team tile in case you want to organize your team differently, and a workflows tile. You can either choose a tile to add or you can hit the cancel button in the top left corner. I'm going to do just that because I don't need any additional tiles. But now that we've figured out how to set up a project for ourselves, how about we jump over to a preloaded geometrics project. So come over here to the left, click on projects in the side rail, and you'll be brought out into the main load screen. From here, click on the Geometrics Outdoor tab and its preloaded data will show up. From here we can see what a fully working project will look like once we have it up and running. From this screen we can see the progress of our workflows if we have any. We can see who's involved on in this project or the team assigned and all the assets that have been used and collected. If you want to change some information about this project after it's been created, move up to the first tile right here give it a click, click on the pencil icon, and here you're able to change any of, the, of these editable options. Most options here will seem common, but the one that may lead to some uncertainty is this project status. 
Let's say that for some reason the project needs to be put on hold or stopped for a period. You can switch it from the active to inactive. Making this project inactive will remove it from the project's main load screen. It's also good if you don't want it to be public until the groundwork has been set up. After you've made your changes, mouse up to the top left check mark and click it. Click on the projects tab on the side rail. And if you did make the project inactive, you'll notice that it's missing from this view. But if it still needs work, you can mouse over to the filter button in the top right. And after you click that, all the inactive projects will appear and you can continue to edit and work on it from here. Click back on the filter button and it will bring you back from the inactive project screen. Let's add a workflow to this outdoors project. So click back into the project, locate the workflows tile, and click on the plus icon. You, know, you now have to choose one of four options. I'm going to go with the first, the project approval workflow. And after clicking on that tile, it will turn blue and have a check on it. Move up to the top right and click on the blue next button. And it will bring you to the workflow properties page. Go ahead and fill in the required spaces with the appropriate information. I'm going to do that now, and then we can talk about it. The Assign To space is useful, especially if you have a certain group that needs to complete a task. You can also assign this workflow to that specific group by selecting the dropdown and selecting the group responsible, or you can also assign it to a specific person by the same method. I'm going to select the observers as the responsible group. I've added a description, and now I can assign this a priority. I'm going to stay with medium. Adding a due date is great for being able to monitor the progress of the project from the main screen. I'll show you how to do this once we get back there. Now that we have everything in place, move up to the top right and click the blue create button. You'll then see a work started pop up. Select done and it will bring you to the main project page. Once back, you'll notice that a new tile has appeared. The tasks tile was an option we could have added ourselves prior, but now that we have work being done, AEM added it in for us. With the tasks tile, we can add new tasks to it by clicking on the plus icon in the top right corner of that tile. Now just the same as clicking on adding a workflow, we have the same familiar options presented to us. Title, assigned to, useful, useful if we know which group it needs to be assigned to, or it can go to an individual, content, description, priority, and a due date. After we've filled everything in again, come up to the top and click create. I said adding due dates to projects and workflows makes seeing the progress more accessible. So before we go back to the project main screen, come up and click on Geometrics Outdoors, click into the editable options, and let's make this project active again. Click the check to save, and then come over and click on projects on the sidebar again. And now we're at the main load screen, we can see that all the projects have been brought from an inactive status to an active status. From here, we can go up to the top right and look at the statistics icon, which looks more like wireless service bars, but it's the statistics icon. Give that a click, and we are able to see what's being done. So currently in the Geometric Outdoors project, we have one task that is 100% active. And in our test project, we have two things that need to be due by August 31st. I hope this video has helped shed some light on the Improved Projects tab. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas about this or future video posts you'd like to see, contact us at info at aempodcast.com. Don't forget to follow our LinkedIn Adobe Experience Manager Showcase page for the most up-to-date information on articles on AEM.